do. That's our big nefarious scam. <laughs> Sounds like something you would do, Jack. Why do you always have to make things dirty? Why? We can just make... It's just a bad person. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> You're right. Oh, I hate that. Sometimes if the angle isn't quite right, or the hole is a little too small, it'll start pushing the plate up when you start trying to screw them in. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. Clean up all that steel wool. Okay. There we go. There's that pickup. I'm really curious to hear how these sound. I've been called worse by better. <laughs> Thanks, Jack. How's your summer going, Jack? Is it too hot to uh, metal work? Or are you s still sweating and hitting things with hammers? It's so hot. But the good news I can take. <laughs> You're doing it anyway. Just do it anyway. Okay. So. Um, oh. I'm also going to do something interesting, uh, not on this one, but the next one. I am going to do uh, one of the students, act actually, the, uh, the guy who's doing the blue offset SG, Alex. He was like, um, do uh, 50s wiring for the telly. Um, and put a switch on it so you can switch back and forth because it's just like running the capacitor into a different spot Ortho are you still there? Are you familiar with 50s wiring? I was thinking about doing that for one of mine and then having a switch in between The tone and the volume so you can switch back and forth like just drilling a hole right there and putting just a little little toggle little two-way toggle to switch back and forth between uh, regular and 50s wiring. I think that would be a neat little thing just to add a little more dynamic uh, tones to the, uh, to the guitar. 
Okay, Karen, you have a wonderful evening. The thing I was thinking about that, Babumstead, but 